The overall goal of this procedure is to facilitate extinction of conditioned fear by stimulation of the vagus nerve. This is accomplished by first constructing electrodes for the delivery of current to the vagus nerve. The next steps are to implant these electrodes around the mid-cervical section of the vagus nerve along with a head cap. After a recovery period, animals next undergo auditory fear conditioning and extinction training with vagus nerve or sham stimulation. The final step is to test the expression of conditioned fear and to assess the reduction in the conditioned freezing response. Ultimately, vagus nerve stimulation is used to enhance extinction learning by inducing plasticity in extinction networks. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like systemic drug treatment is the ability to precisely regulate the timing of the treatment in order to achieve network-specific release of neurotransmitters that can be paired with ongoing behavior. This method can help answer key questions in the field of emotional learning and memory, particularly how the release of stress hormones like epinephrine and glucocorticoids can influence the consolidation of long-term memories. The implications of this technique extend toward exposure therapies used to treat anxiety and trauma-related disorders, as well as rehabilitation from addictions. Additionally, vagus nerve stimulation can be applied to other models of learning and synaptic plasticity, such as motor learning after stroke or traumatic brain injury. In preparation, build a drilling tool from a needle.